For Transit TV News, I'm Tom Davis. U.S. intelligence officials are revealing some details of what led to the killing of Osama bin Laden in Pakistan. President Barack Obama says the intelligence about Osama bin Laden's whereabouts began flowing to him in August. It was far from certain, and it took many months to run this thread to ground. I met repeatedly with my national security team as we developed more information about the possibility that we had located bin Laden hiding within a compound deep inside Pakistan. It was in suburban Islamabad with security gates and walls as high as 18 feet ringed with barbed wire. Intelligence officials believed it was built five years ago to protect a major terror figure. The question had been, which one? Each time the CIA asked itself, the answer was the same. By mid-February, officials say the intelligence that bin Laden lived there was clear enough that the president wanted to pursue an aggressive course. He led several National Security Council meetings solely focused on whether bin Laden was there, and if so, how to get him. On Friday, April 29th, the president issued the order to get bin Laden without sharing the intelligence with allies like Pakistan. The operation was simply too delicate. Helicopters carrying members of the Navy's elite SEAL Team 6 swooped in on the luxury hideout in the early Monday darkness. After a firefight, they killed Osama bin Laden and took custody of his body. A U.S. official says bin Laden's remains have already been buried at sea, since finding a country to accept his body would have been tough. Sagar Magani, Associated Press, the Pentagon. Hundreds of people gathered outside the White House cheering and chanting after President Obama's announcement that Osama bin Laden was dead. U.S. soldiers and civilians alike are celebrating the U.S. military mission that killed Osama bin Laden in Pakistan. Several soldiers from Joint Base lewis McCord in Washington State stood on an overpass and waved flags at passing motorists. I can only speak for myself, but I, you know, I, I think any soldier anywhere in the world right now, whether they're in Afghanistan, Iraq, here, uh, this is a, a very happy moment. I personally joined because of Osama bin Laden, so this day has been a long time coming. I'm, I'm happy. You know, I think everybody was uh, personally stricken by 9/11, and uh, you know, I wanted to do my part, serve my, serve the country, and, and but this is a, it's been a long, a long time coming. But over 10 years now, so that we've all been waiting, fighting for this moment. So it's very, it's very happy. I was kind of unsure, but until uh, President Obama uh, announced it, then I got really excited and I was like, gotta express myself. So I came out here, and you know, I'm out here now, celebrating. 